to you by new denture cream. The special denture toothpaste made with the cleaning power dental plates need. Denture cream. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. I'm sure that everyone who's ever watched Gunsmoke will be pleased to know that we have on my left tonight the star of an upcoming new CBS TV series called TV Tonight, Chester from Gunsmoke, Dennis Weaver. And now here's uh, the delightful star of Billy Wilder's very funny movie, One, Two, Three, Miss Arlene Francis. And now, the dear president of Random House, who runs a very nice house himself, a master of gamesmanship, Mr. Bennett Cerf. And here is our panel moderator, able, eloquent, affable, but no sense of the word megacephalic, and that's a word he's going to have to look up himself, John Charles Daly. <laughs> I think it's very nice of Bennett to have announced I can still get my hat on. And I can indeed. Oh, he knew, he knew, he knew. <laughs> I can get my hat on. Dennis Weaver, it's nice to have you with us. Thank you. That's a nice combination, isn't it? <laughs> I must say, I'm a Gunsmoke fan, and I've watched for many years what uh, is for me a most wonderfully relaxing uh, half hour and then hour on television, but uh, I have no plans to let you relax for the next half hour, so you might as well brace yourself for what's coming. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to. <laughs> we, have some, <laughs> we have some very fine occupations, interesting occupations, some nice people who brought them to the theater, and uh, we'll also have a famous mystery guest before my friends on the panel a little bit later in the program, and we'll meet our first challenger. And now let's meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Mary Lou Sandford, is that right? Is it uh, Miss or Mrs. Sandford? Miss Sandford. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Miss Sandford? Uh, I'm originally from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, but now I'm living in New York. Now you're living in New York. Mm -hmm. I think it's only fair to tell the panel that Miss Sandford is in New York studying and hoping for a very bright career in her particular area of interest, but in the meantime, she also has to make a living. So with that information, Miss Santa, may I present the panel? Thank you. Will you join me over here, please? You know how we keep score on What's My Line? Yes. All right, in that event, we'll let the theater audience and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. panel, we can tell you that Miss Sandher is salaried, deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Surf. Miss Sandher, I didn't hear where you said you had originally come from. Would you tell us? Mm -hmm. Lansford, Pennsylvania. Lansford, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. well, that me just about where I was before. Uh, <laughs> the service that you are performing, Miss uh, Sandher, is one I take it that requires some special training, is that correct? No. Well, you said you were here learning it. No, no I not what I'm doing we, now. No, what I said was that Miss Sander was here and studying toward a career in her own particular area of endeavor. In the meantime, she had to earn a living, and what she was doing now, I do not think requires special training, Bennett, in the terms of reference 
which I know you are normally used to with respect to any appearance of a contestant <laughs> on what's my line. And to wind down and nine to go, Miss Gilgallis. Oh, I'm so confused. Mm, yeah. uh, uh, Miss Sandler, uh, could I enjoy your services? I think so. Uh, could Mr. Weaver, too? Yes. Uh, do you perform them indoors? Yes. Uh, do people ever watch you do what you do? Yes. Do you in any way give advice or demonstrate anything? Uh, yes. Uh, is it Let me have a small conference, if I may. I've been waiting for the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dorothy, I hope you will excuse my... Quite all right, John. I'm glad I gave you the opportunity. <laughs> uh, am I still on? You're still on. Uh, would this... This thing that you demonstrate, or these things that you demonstrate, uh, are they a way of doing something rather than a product in itself? Yes. Um, do you move about in your work? Uh, yes. Uh, do your feet move as much as your hands do? Depends on what uh, Miss Sander is doing at any particular moment. Sometimes her feet move more than her hands do, and on other occasions her feet and hands are both stationary, and still on other occasions mm -hmm. the other... May I, may I rule out that you are a dancing instructor? Uh, yes. Do you have anything to do with athletics at all? No. That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Weaver. Uh, do you, uh, do you uh, wear a uniform or... Uh... Yes. You do wear a uniform? Mm -hmm. I was hoping she'd say no so I could pass. <laughs> um, is your work, uh, is it more uh, mental than it is physical? Yes. <laughs> mental. Uh, do people come to you for the... Yes. Don't <laughs> you may not, not get a no all closer. night, Dennis. No. <laughs> um, why don't you do it? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you ever passes, Arlie? <laughs> you weak? Yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything at all entertaining about your work? Yes. Yeah. Uh, would you be in any sense uh, a performer? Yes. Uh, if there is something mental about your work, is it... Uh, well, in, uh, this uh, uniform that you wear, would it be considered more a costume than a uniform? Yes. Highly mind-reading. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, well, but now shall we rule out hypnotism and tea leaves? Yes. We rule out anything that has to do with the mind in that sense. Yes. Telepathy or anything like that. Nevertheless, your work is mental. Well, let's say that the, to the degree that one has to dispose of certain amounts of energy in the performance of any duty which earns an emolument, <laughs> we agree that Miss Sandler's activity is not basically a physical activity. She is required to exercise the mind uh, more than the physical person. Sure. Well, <laughs> uh, have you ever appeared on television when you've done your work? No. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Sandhern, do you handle in the course of your work any amounts of money? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Does your work have anything to do with music? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Weaver. I got around awful fast. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have... Um... You've got a gun, you can't use it. No. <laughs> Does, uh... What did she do moving? Can we have a conference? Huh? You may have a 30-second conference. <laughs> well, she, she said she moved her hands and her feet. Maybe she, she tells stories to children or something. It's mental. Find no. out what do you do with anything to do with food or drink. She might have something to be You asked that so you can get a no. Yeah. Do you have any, anything to do with food or drink? No. Six down and four to go. <laughs> Miss Francis? Are, could children be involved in your work in any way? Yes. Uh, uh, would you 
be at a children's party, might you be hired to do whatever you do? Yes. Would you be liable to direct games for children or tell them stories? Two questions. Yes. Well, let me say, in the relationship uh, which Ms. Sandher presently, presently has to earning a living, this would be a normal activity. Well, yes. should, are you an organizer of children's parties? No. No. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Sir. Ms. Sandher, do you use oh, dolls Lord. or puppets? or in the course of the work that you do. Now, you mean by dolls or puppets, either working off strings or worked off the fingers? Any better? kind of uh, children toys that would... You no, on. I yeah. could be... Eight down and two to go to the Easter Bunny. <laughs> right! <laughs> Oh, I was saying that for a joke. I, didn't know. <laughs> I knew you were, Ali. I didn't know that that was a way of life. <laughs> well, remember, I was very careful to explain to you that Miss Sander yeah. is studying dancing. She hopes to go on to a career in entertainment, but for the last two weeks, with another week, I think, to go, uh, she is the Easter Bunny in Macy's Bunnyland. And she oh. talks to the well, youngsters John, and tells I, them to I don't want to cavil, but what is their mental about being a Easter yeah. Bunny? <laughs> Well, I bet it is, uh, uh, Miss Sander performs the same function at Easter time that Santa Claus does at Christmas. And she, she talks to the youngsters, where the tells other them to be good, good little boys and good little girls. And if there'd been more of these people who got at you when you were a little boy, think how much better things would be today. <laughs> no? Well, I tried anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed your visit with us, Miss Sander. It was very nice to have you with Thank us. You. And what's my line? Thank you. Good night. Can you just, uh, just imagine uh, whoever it might have been who played Miss Sanders' part at Macy's about 72 years ago when Bennett came up at Easter time and she said, be a good little boy, and now she knows what he turned out? Oh, that's terrible, isn't it? Let's see what we can do with another contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? M. O. Anderson. Is that right? Cacollin, Michigan. Cacollin, Michigan. Nice to have you with us. May I present the panel? Mr. Anderson, you join me over here. Do you know how we keep score, Mr. Anderson? Yes, indeed. Fine, then we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, I can tell you that Mr. Anderson is self-employed, deals in a product, and we'll begin the general questioning with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, is this a product that will be found in the home, Mr. Anderson? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Weaver. You, you said he was self-employed. He mm -hmm. deals with a product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not found in the home. Mm -hmm. Is this a product that... Uh, is this, this is a service, did you say? No, product. Oh, this is a product. Uh, is this a product that uh, both men and women would use? Yeah. Uh, would... Uh, all ages use the product? Yes. Would, uh, is it a product that you could, uh, like, hold in your hand? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss French. Is it a product that's larger than the regulation bread box? Yes. Is it a product that is so large that one could get into it if one wanted to? Yes. Is it a product that, to be used, you should really get into it? Yes. <laughs> in a that's manner, like heavenly in a manner fun. of speech. Oh, huh? <laughs> uh, is it a product that one would find on land? Yes. Is it a product that has moving parts? Occasionally. It could I think be what a stationary we need to product. That in some instances, we would have to agree that there were moving parts involved. In other instances, uh, it would not be likely that uh, those elements of the product which do move would be present. It's an Easter bunny. Oh, no, that was last week. Uh, is this a product that might have anything to do with sports? No. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Anderson, might this product be used in some way or other 
in transportation or in getting no. people from one place from to another? No. no. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. In other words, if I got into this thing, it would be for a specific purpose, which is not to move. Yes. That's why I said you get into it in a manner of speaking. I think sometimes we could get involved here in colloquial patterns of speech, mm -hmm. and you would have a we much more do. active interpretation of the phrase mm -hmm. than you should have. Uh, would you, uh, John, I'm just asking this uh, for uh, purposes of definition. Do you get into it rather than on it, upon it? Well, now you've raised a very interesting question. I hope so. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Let me see if I can help you out. <laughs> <laughs> that will be the day. <laughs> I know. Why don't you and I go out and have a cup of coffee and we'll be back there. I'm ready. Uh, this is difficult, Dora. There is an action of entrance into, but it does not at the same time suggest as complete the action of entrance as might be required uh, if one were in another posture and had other aims than those which would be reasonable in the use of this product. Uh, Mr. Anderson, is this product something other than a telephone book? A yes, booth? it is. Um, is it larger than a telephone booth? Yes. Is it something other than a tree house? Yes. <laughs> Uh, is it anything that people get into and stay in for any length of time? Yeah. Well, is it a house? No. No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Weaver. Do, do more than uh, five people get in it at once? Yes. They could. Mm -hmm. <gasps> do... I hope it isn't a fallout shelter. Well, that's what I was going to say. Uh, there was no call for a conference, sir. Oh. Do you like that? Well, I was going, I, I assume that this is not a, a fallout shelter, is that correct? It is not. Uh, is this a, uh, something that is uh, useful, rather, as opposed to uh, decorative. decorative or entertaining or et cetera? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, is it uh, something that, that all uh, ages would use equally? Yes. Is it something that you would use the whole year round? Yes. <laughs> is it, uh, is it, uh, is it, uh, Mr. Dillon, I need some help here. Uh, hmm. Would temperature have anything to do with it? No. That's six <laughs> down in Florida. <laughs> Congratulations. You were great. I mean, Miss Kilgallen, Miss Francis. Uh, while uh, this in itself doesn't have anything to do with transportation, is anything ever transported on it or in it? No. Seven down and three to go. I'm going to give you another 30 seconds. Mr. Anderson, is there any metal in this uh, product? Some. Is there wood in it, too? Yes. Yeah. Is it used for storage purposes of any kind? No. No, we'd like to think not. Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Is it either a bank or a jail? No. <laughs> Nine down and one to go, Mr. Weaver. Back to you. <laughs> well, I still need help. Go ahead. You. Well, can, we talk? can we have a conference for a minute? May have 30 Mr. seconds Dill for a conference. Uh, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Could it be a Derek or anything like that, do you think? Made of one? Well, that's that would be transporting. Uh, this no, that's is something right. that stays on the ground. Uh, a lot of people get in. Kids use it like... Could be a war. Maybe. Uh, a uh, pier. A pier. Is this, is this used, is used, used uh, on the water? On the water? Yes. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Occasionally. Don't look at me. <laughs> Maybe it's a float. A, a boat it's or a, a pier? It doesn't, does, it, does it go up and down? No. No, that's 10 down and no more to go. I've never, at least I must say this, I, Mr. Weaver, I have never seen a church pew that went up and down. Oh. A church pew. A church pew. <laughs> yes. You know what our trouble was? We were outdoors. You know, when you said, is it something that could be used in the house, and then the no answer came, we yes, thought we it had to be outdoors. something out of doors. I would have said Otherwise, of course, we would have all thought of a church pew yes. immediately. Yes.
Actually, Mr. Anderson is president of the Kirkpaulin Church Furniture Company, Church Furniture Company which is your hometown, and, and uh, they make custom pews and also... And if they you have... don't think people are often transported sitting in those church pews, you're mistaken. <laughs> you're absolutely right, Arlene, but we couldn't allow it in those churches. That's what about us right now. Pew. <laughs> pew. <laughs> oh, Bennett. Thank you very much, sir. It's nice to have had you with us in What's My Life. Thank you. Thank you. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which, as you know, the panel is blindfolded. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes. yes. Excellent. Mystery challenger, will you enter and sign in, please? All right, panel, as you know, in the case of the Mystery Challenger, we go to a different form of questioning, Mr. Weaver. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it with Mr. I, I Weaver. I take it uh, from the applause that uh, it's a very well-known, popular uh, personality. Are you, uh, are you a woman? Yes. Miss Francis? Are you more of a Hollywood personality than you are an Eastern Theater personality? Yes. Mr. Sir? Have you uh, made a great number of records that have sold extremely well? No! One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you a, a young leading woman type? Curvaceous cutie. A young leading woman type, a curvaceous, no! curvaceous cutie. No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. No. Weaver. Uh, are you... She's from Hollywood. That, that was not right. Didn't say Hollywood. She's in more Hollywood than stage. Yes. Uh, are you? Are you? Do you appear in a, uh, a, a television series weekly? Mm -hmm. Appear in a television series weekly. No. That's three down and seven to go, Ooh, Miss Prince. Miss Kitty. No. <laughs> no television. No theater. Huh? Hollywood. Not a curvaceous cutie. Would you be considered more a character actress? than a young leading woman. Yes. Mr. Sir? Are you, at the present time, being seen in a big picture on, in one of the big Broadway show houses? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you married to someone in show business? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Weaver. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, I'd be, hmm. Yeah. I say, do you, have you ever, uh, are you over 25? Would I be right? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that, is, do I stop? Yes. Miss Francis? Well, the character actors, most character actresses are over 25. It takes them that long to get any character. <laughs> uh, have you ever been nominated for an award? Six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. Have you ever appeared on the panel of, uh, of some kind of television quiz show? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Hmm. Are you now appearing either in the theater or in a nightclub in New York? No. That's seven down and three to go, and I'm sorry to say that I've run out of time. How about Peggy Kiss? Could it be Peggy Kiss? No, but how would you like Hedda Hopper? Oh. <laughs> This is National Press Week, as I think so many of you know, and the 75th oh, yeah. anniversary of the American Newspaper Publishers Association, okay. which happily has brought Miss Hedda here to New York because she's going to preside over some of the activities of the week. And, and they, so didn't they didn't get me. They didn't get me. They didn't get me. I'm so glad. And Those girls are so smart. They didn't oh. get me. We're proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice to have you with us. This way, Hedda.
Well, you've done rather well tonight, panel. We'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. Afraid the Easter rabbit used up all the time, and I'll say good night by May for everybody, and thank you for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Todman. This is Johnny Olson speaking.